Right now, our nation faces a severe and long-standing affordable housing crisis, even as the construction of luxury housing continues to increase. This crisis is caused by corporate control of housing, lack of tenant protections, and a lack of affordable homes for the lowest income communities who need affordable housing the most. The largest corporate landlords and Wall Street speculators have taken advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic to amass even more property, enjoying billions of dollars in generous government subsidies, while renters struggle to apply for relief with no eviction protections. To create a more equitable housing system, we must massively expand social housing, a public option of housing that is primarily affordable, protected from the private market, and under democratic community control. We must prioritize public nonprofit means of housing finance, construction, management, and ownership to counter real estate speculation. Rather than using our public funds to enrich for-profit speculators, private developers, and corporate landlords. Around the world, for decades now, a wealth of example has shown social housing is a sensible, effective, and proven solution to housing shortages, skyrocketing costs, and homelessness. Our federal and state governments have aggressively slashed funds for public and subsidized housing since the 1970s. We have shifted away from publicly funded and owned affordable housing towards relying on a monopoly of for-profit investors and landlords. On top of that, since the 1980s, the federal government deregulated real estate speculation and banking. This unleashed predatory lending practices driven by Wall Street investors over our homes and neighborhoods. That resulted in a 2008 foreclosure crisis, which more than halved black and brown wealth. Today, our government's spending priorities on housing are warped. It spends far more money on housing when it comes to subsidizing the rich than it spends on affordable housing for low-income people. The federal government gave the largest corporate landlords at least $470 billion in recent tax breaks and giveaways, including over $170 billion through the CARES Act. Social housing production alongside tenant protections and ending corporate control of the housing market is how we can solve the affordable housing crisis for our communities. The government must prioritize upfront public financing for public construction, not tax breaks to private developers and investors. Policymakers must include mechanisms for tenant power, democratic accountability, and oversight that ensure low-income people of color are central in decision-making. Social housing that truly prioritizes low-income communities of color is how we can correct the impacts of past racial housing policies and take strides towards racial justice. Tenants are already organizing and winning social housing in their communities and taking on corporate landlords. We need the government and policymakers to step up, take responsibility, and direct our country's wealth of resources towards social housing. By ensuring everyone has a home, Widespread social housing will allow our communities to thrive from socialite benefits that come from realizing housing as a human right.